And now, Chief Meteorologist Chad Merrill with your full seven-day forecast. Welcome back to Newswatch, folks. Louise sent these two photos in of the mackerel sky before the clouds filled in. We had deep blue sky, and then we had a couple of mid and low level clouds. Thank you very much, Louise, for that photo. If you are heading out to the polls this evening, here's a look at I-77 in Princeton. We have lots of cloud cover, so very little sun glare like we had yesterday, and a few patches of drizzle, especially as we head into the Greenbrier Valley here along I-64. Just enough to maybe dampen the pavement in spots, but as we look here at Route 19, we are not seeing any rain here along the New River Gorge Bridge, and that's the way it's going to stay along Route 19. Our temperatures are generally in the 60s all across the region, 73 degrees in Pineville, so very mild for this time of the year. We still have those winds out of the south at about 20 to 25 miles an hour across much of Route 19. If you live in the Greenbrier Valley, your winds are going to stay calm through the entire night. Now we're picking up a couple of echoes here east of Oak Hill and in the Greenbrier Valley. These are those spotty sprinkles that the correlation coefficient picks up much better than our Doppler radar product. Showers lining up through the Mississippi Valley as this front pushes east. All of us will have an opportunity for a sprinkle over the next two days, but don't expect very much rain at all. Our temperature is only going down to 58 degrees tonight with that fog and drizzle east of I-77. Look at the traffic here along 219 in Lewisburg right now, folks heading to the poles. Big sprawling ridge of high pressure across the east and a deep trough in the west. And because of that, we have a very warm temperature pattern that's going to continue the next two days east of the Mississippi, 74 in Nashville, 43 degrees in Fargo. So that's where the cold air is, and that's where it's going to stay, folks. 75 tomorrow. Clouds will be back on the increase in the afternoon. It will be breezy, could have a sprinkle in the afternoon, but we still have that fire risk. Now, Raphael. Here's our weather maker for the weekend. This Category 1 hurricane is going to push into the Gulf of Mexico and then it's going to make landfall late this week along the Louisiana coast and then team up with the cold front. So in the aches and pains forecast may feel a few aches and pains as the front comes through Wednesday and Thursday, but a better chance late in the weekend as we get the moisture from the front and we get the moisture from Raphael. So here's how it all plays out. There's going to be an expanded flood threat in the southeast we will have rain here across our region Saturday into Sunday. And on the back side of that, another front comes through on Tuesday with a few showers. And then we have a bona fide cold air mass that's going to sweep across the country. Blizzard in the upper Mississippi Valley and some cold weather here locally. We are talking about three-fourths to an inch of rain over the weekend, which we desperately need. Seven-day forecast, folks, there you have it in writing. 60s and 70s in the next couple of days. Overnight lows in the 40s and the 50s. Good news is we dry it out early next week and a couple of showers possible on Tuesday, a week from today. That's your seven-day storm watch for by the forecast. We've got more news right after the break.